Hello there! Welcome back to another exciting episode of Rule the Waves 2, playing as Great Britain. The year is 1905 and we are at war with France. We just won a decisive victory against a portion of France's battle fleet, crushing them in a convoy battle off the coast of Ireland. And now it's time to capitalize on those gains by uh, continuing the blockade. So we currently have two battleships under repairs. The flagship of the last fight, the Barfloor, took a fair number of hits, so she's in the dockyards. And the Redoubtable had some engine problems, so she's out for a few months while those get straightened up. Uh, meanwhile, we continue pushing along. Construction continues on our Dreadnought battleships, and uh, we've got some light cruisers coming out of the yards eventually. But uh, for right now, our major objective, we just got a report that they are very close to mastering the uh, main battery wing turrets. So we're going to hold off on spending of any of our money until that gets unlocked. So without any further ado, let's move on to the next up, next turn. Alright, so we have a destroyer action off the coast of France. I am perfectly fine with destroyer actions, so let's, uh, I accept. Let's get into the fight. We tend to have vastly superior destroyers to the French. They're armed mostly with 2-inch and 3-inch guns, and we're rocking 4-inch and 3-inch. So we should have a significant advantage here. All right, we've got a mission of sinking two ships of any ship type. Let's see what we can find. All right, unknown ship sighted. All right, now we've got some enemies in sight. Those look like destroyers. And sure, our lookout has called them cruisers, but for anyone on a destroyer, anything that's spitting out smoke and moving fast must be a cruiser. There we go, destroyers. Yeah, we'll get into the fight here and try and use our decisive firepower advantages. Let's raise the flotilla attack symbol and see if we can get the rest of these ships into the action. So they seem rather loath to engage. At least they're shooting, so that's something. Let's see, so this is the Carquois class. And they're rocking four three-inch guns. Well, joke's on them, I also have four three-inch guns. Oh no! One of our ships is hit by a torpedo. Well, that is most unfortunate. Do I want to detach Cossack to pick up survivors? Yeah, we've still got this numerical superiority here. So we'll keep pushing them here. We'll just keep up the chase. All I've got to do is get close enough to get those secondaries back in action. And of course, the moment we do, they turn away. Oh no, Jed! Why are you slowing down? They'll get away! Or 
we're seeing these guys as core, so hopefully they get a little bit closer to the action. And yeah, Jed knocked down to 19 knots. Yeah, we're not going to be able to catch catch him with that. So, all that in mind, we will detach the Jed and take command of the Scour and pick up our speed again. And hopefully we'll be able to re-engage. And our engines are giving trouble. Oh, man. Well, I think we've uh, officially lost this one. We have not successfully sunk anything. And we instead lost one of our own ships. So we'll call that a embarrassing defeat. Let's at least head over to Brest and see if we can find any transports or something to sink. Unknown ship. Maximum speed. Let's engage. Aha! A transport! Just what we need. May still turn this into a victory. All right. Let's keep searching along this coast and hope we can find another ship. Maybe that'll pay for the losses. Aha! Another ship! Back up to Squad Max. That is a destroyer. Let's see if we can get in the action here. And we lost it. Alright, back down to 20 knots. Oh, that is unfortunate. These destroyers are having problems with heat. Bearings overheating, propulsion damage. It's just not been going well. Alright, so we sank one transport. We lost one destroyer. They won. That is unfortunate. But, minor victory, not too bad. Oh! Oh, wow. So there's steam turbines. That is huge! Considerable weight savings on machinery. And the French have a raider out. The operations of Ally Japan adds 250 victory points. Outstanding. All right. Wow. All right, I hope we get that. Uh... So we got steam turbines. That is going to be a huge improvement to our uh, ship speed and probably incorporate that into our cruiser development as well. But for now, it's all about the battleships. So we're still going to hold off on design until we unlock those main battery wing turrets as well. Let's see, we've got submarines chugging right along. Nothing much there. More Hermione class cruisers coming out. Yeah, it's not time to order anything more yet. Let's see what we can do with those main battery wing turrets. Quick double check. Uh, looks like France has withdrawn most of their stuff. Yeah, it looks like they've pulled all of their capital ships back home to try and break the blockade. But it's not going to help them. 
as we have bigger ships and more of them. All right, next turn. Cruiser action in Tunisia. Well, I'm not hugely interested in anything down there, so I'll pass on that. Raid on coastal shipping. I accept. One destroyer unable to take part in battle. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, we get to see these new uh semi dread these new uh proto battle cruisers in action. This is something I've been looking forward to. So we've got the Hood and the Sutledge, followed by the Uralis. Or Urialis, whatever you want to call that. So that is unfortunate that the Urialis is not quite able to keep pace with the Sutledge and Hood. But they will try, and we need to sink two ships of any ship type in that general area. All right. So we've got cruisers forming a screen. Oh, come on. And we have another two cruisers out as scouts. Outstanding. This is an excellent formation. So you'll engage as is. Pick up the pace to fastest available. See what kind of stuff we get. All right, we have an unknown ship spotted. We'll turn in that general direction. Ooh, multiple ships in formation. That means that, that is enemy ships. Ooh, I wonder what they are. So we're calling one, scouts are calling one a B. One battleship. I don't trust that. I'm betting armored cruisers. Yeah, there we go. Armored cruisers. Protected cruisers. Oh yeah. This is exactly the sort of engagement we're looking for. say class, four and a half inch armor belt. Oh, we're going to just crush these things. Another say, And then they have a... Guadon... Slightly heavier armor belt, but again, probably not going to help. Let's see what kind of armor penetration we're reporting for my 10-inch guns. So these are reporting up to 5.5 inches of penetration at 5,000 yards, and I expect an engagement range of three to 4,000. So yeah, that should be fairly decisive. Well then, let us reduce speed and accelerate to our squad battle squad battle speed. And we'll see what we can do. Oh no, the Stour misunderstood signals. She's been having a rough time the last few uh, battles. objective is to just straight close the range, so I'm going to keep on heading basically straight at them until we're within proper engagement range. Yeah, we are barely within range. That's not great. I want to get closer. Continue closing with their armored cruisers. Ooh, that was close. Do 
do not want to get torpedoed. All right, looks like one of their protected cruisers has been slowed down. I'm not hugely concerned about that. I want to get these armored cruisers. Continue pushing. In fact, I think we're going to pick up speed to a full all-ahead flank, 22 knots. See if we can use that to close the range a little bit more. There we go. Now we're doing some damage. We are in range. We're actually going to try and maintain it open a little bit more. And then we'll maintain 20 knots. Oh yeah. Now we're getting the damage. That is exactly what these ships were built for. Guadon broken off. Hold on. Why did the Sutledge detach? Let's see. Detaches because of heavy flooding. Okay, how's the hood doing? Hood's doing just fine. Well, we can reduce speed on Sutledge. Our goal is to still chase down that lead ship. Whoa! We're getting some fancy maneuvers there. All right. How's the hood doing? She's got a few turrets knocked out. That's not good. Let's see how so much is flooding. Okay, flooding is back under control. Excellent. Place the flotilla attack signal, see if we can get some of these destroyers in the fight here. We're still getting all sorts of good hits on these guys. Excellent. Looks like sunset is coming. All right, let's take a look at this hit chance. All right, so crew quality is good. So that's nice, that's nice. Tech level, yep. Five ships firing at the same target. Yeah, that's not great. But we're not having any nighttime penalties yet, so that's good. Let's continue pushing on these guys. And the other French cruiser rejoined. Interesting. How's this guy doing? Heavy damage on fire. Alright, I think it's time to go after the other cruiser. He's on fire, he's burning quite heavily. We've got an outstanding melee going on in the back. We'll chase down this guy, and then we'll see if we can do some damage to that cruiser in the north. So, Ledge, what are you doing? Detaches because of heavy flooding. Again. And a fire was started. 
but I'm not seeing any reports of fire. Hopefully she's able to get things under control. Enemy ship to say. Oh, nice! We got a Desay class knocked completely out of the fight. Alright, let's see if we can get this other cruiser as well. See if we can pull off a twofer. Looks like my scout force is doing an excellent job chasing down an enemy. Oh yeah, that guy's in trouble, that Chassaloup Labat. I can barely even call that a cruiser. Two six inch guns and six four inch. Oh yeah, they don't stand a chance against these guys. Oh, neat, this is my Comus class. I can barely call these things cruisers too, but they do the job. Alright, how's the hood doing? Still good, still good. How's the Sutledge going? Oh, that's not good. She's on fire. Let's, uh, let's reduce speed and see if we can't get that out. Uh-oh. Do speed on this guy. Heck, we'll go all the way down to cruise speed and tell him to disengage because we don't want that guy to get lost due to fires. In fact, I'm even going to tell him to hold fire and to disengage. We've accomplished our objective. The last thing we want is to actually lose a ship. that armored cruiser. There we go. We'll head up that way next. Pretty sure this Guadon class has been stomped on enough. Oh, I don't know. All right, I think that's enough damage. And the Sutledge. Oh boy, those fires are starting to spread. Why are you not sufficiently damaged to detach? We'll reduce speed. We'll hold fire. I need you to get those fires under control. Devote all forces, all manpower to firefighting. Do not want to lose these things this early. Secure the flotilla attack flag. I do want these guys to start forming back up. How is the Sutledge doing? Outstanding! Fires back out. Excellent. Fire spreads, fire spreads. Fire reduced by damage control, fire reduced by damage control. Excellent. Fire is out. That is under control. How is the hood doing? 
And aside from the extra turrets out, she's in very good condition. All right, so let's pick speed back up and let's authorize firing again. Engage at will. Enemy ship Guade on class hit by torpedo. Outstanding. Good job, guys. That's another cruiser that is not coming back to the French Navy. What ship is that? An AMC? I'll let the destroyers deal with that. I think this battle is just about done, so we're going to go disengage and fastest available speed. Alright. Well, hey, look at that. So we lost one destroyer, we sank three enemy cruisers, three enemy armored cruisers, one light cruiser, and two destroyers. What a decisive battle. Alright, so... Details. We have two ships sunk by, disabled by gunfire, then sunk by torpedoes. And we have the last one. Ooh, the Pothau. You fought that guy before. Uh, she was sunk due to... Alright. So she was damaged by fires, but it looks like the uh, flooding is what finished her off. Did enough structural damage, and then took enough flotation damage from flooding that she was not able to recover. Well, once again, those light guns proving to be a significant contributor to the fight. I'm so glad we're packing tertiaries on these ships. All right. We'll end that battle. Aha, uh -huh, another major victory. Battle of Bordeaux. The enemy has sounded us out about a negotiated peace with us gaining disputed border areas and some of their colonies. No, we can crush them entirely. Control tops. Ah! And here we go. Main battery wing turrets. I think it is time to design us a new battleship. And the French do have some raiders out and about. That is the sort of thing that they do. But for now, it's time to design a new battleship. So, first things first, Dreadnought. Auto design, let's see what that comes up with. And ooh, that is a very nice looking Dreadnought. Not a big fan of the 13 inch quality negative ones. They just don't have quite the same performance. So, maximum range of 12,500 yards, penetration of up to nine inches. See about the 12 inch quality zeros. So the 12 inch quality zeros do have longer range. To 1.3, to 1.2. The difference being that the 13 inch guns are potentially upgradable in the future. That would be expensive but it would be a significant thing. And that would definitely be a step in the right direction in terms of upgrading our main gun capacity. So I think we actually are going to stick with the 13 inch guns for now. Uh, that said, definitely not doing five inch secondaries. We're doing six inch secondaries. And those tertiaries have been significant. So we're gonna keep those as well. All right, central firing looks good. 
definitely need more rounds per gun. I would very much like to do 120 rounds per gun so we can stick in the fight for a long time. All right, speed, 21 knots. And let's take a look at this armor. Oh, no, 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 no. This armor scheme is completely unacceptable. All right, belt extended looks good. Deck looks good. Deck extended is also okay. Actually, let's bump that up a little bit. Secondaries need at least four inches of protection to protect them against other six inch guns. I do not want those things getting knocked out by hostile fire. And the armor belt definitely has to be heavier as well. We'll put that at 12 inches. All right, and Well, it appears that we cannot quite afford that. We just don't have the dock size for it. Let's see, we've got torpedoes. I don't intend to pull those off anytime soon. So I guess we won't be able to go with the 13 inch guns. We'll have to drop that down to 12 inch. And again, we're still not quite able to pull it off. All right, well, let's try. An 11 inch belt. I'll drop that deck down. It's still not quite right. I don't want to drop my main belt anymore though. All right, well, <clears throat> let's see, where else can I save weight? I don't want my deck extended getting knocked out too badly, so we're going to keep... Oh, we can drop that down, so there's some weight savings there. What about 10.5 belt? Eh, still not quite good. Where else can I make up tonnage? I don't want to do less rounds per gun. That's not good. Especially with 12 inch guns, those fire fast and they run out of ammo quickly. So I want to keep that up. All right, well, if we drop turret armor down, that almost makes it possible. And then we just ditch the uh, torpedoes and there we go we'll take up the extra weight with tertiaries all right well there we go we've got a decent pretty solid design I'm not quite happy with how light the armor belt is on this that's not good but it is a step in the right direction is there anything I could do to get that back up No, I just can't quite get it. I really can't wait until we get all or nothing armor, then I don't have to worry about belt extended. But for now, we do have to worry about it. So we've got a lighter main belt. All right, well, this will have to do. And of course, this is my fourth design. So sticking with the naming convention, We've already got our A's, our B's, our C's. Next up, we need D's. There's only one possibility for that. All right, do a quick check. All okay. Hold on. There we go, much better. Conning tower only needs the same protection as our belt. Turrets need better protection. All right, so we'll save that. And we will 
begin development. And we're going to order several of those. All right. Uh, looks good to me. We can also take a look at light cruisers, because now that we've got turbines, that is pretty significant improvement. Yeah, that gets us up to 24 knots. I do like that. Uh, actually, no. I think we're going to hold off on that until our next... We're going to hold off on that a little bit longer, see if we can push the speed up a little bit. Once we get our next major engine development, weight savings or something, we're going to start doing cruisers. Torpedo mounts, missiles, or catapults are not balanced. Port, port, starboard. Wow. Wow. Forgot to add an extra torpedo mount. Weird. So I do like the look of this cruiser. It is a very nice cruiser, all things considered. But... Let's bump that up. More armor. Okay, so we could do a 25 knot cruiser. It would not have any secondaries, so that's not ideal, but it's not a bad design. But if we drop it down to 24 knots, we can bump our rounds per gun up. And we can slap on a bunch of secondaries, which, as we've seen, are very, very useful. Alright, so that is a possibility, but I don't think I'm going to develop it right now. We're going to worry about cruiser development in the future. For now, let's move on to the next turn. All right, so we've got a small engagement in southern France. No idea what's there. It's my secondary forces. It's their secondary forces. Eh, I'll accept. They decline. Oh, a coastal bombardment. Intriguing. And it's at night. Oh, boy. Right, let's see where this bombardment target is. Okay, near Dunkirk. And it is in the absolute middle of the night. This is going to be difficult. Alright. Well, let's get to the scene. There's not a whole lot else we can do. Just head for the place and see what damage we can do. Unknown ship sighted. Let's go take a look. Those are acting like destroyers, and I am not a fan. Quest the flotilla attacks, and if we can actually get those destroyers to engage. An AMC. That's probably not actually an AMC. My bet is transport. But I'll take it. Alright, and it is reduced to a sinking wreck. So we'll leave that to sink. We'll reduce to cruising speed while we approach the target. And another ship spotted, all right. Back to full. We'll see what these ships are. 
Oh, we've got some strange weather afoot. Mists, huh? Uh-oh. Well, I think we know where the enemy fleet is. Open fire! Please do not get torpedoed. Oh, they have an armored cruiser. That is beautiful. Let's go get them. All right, we'll pick up the pace. Hopefully we can actually get into a proper fight. There we go. Is that them? The Kutalas class. Ooh. Yep, they've got torpedoes all right. I don't like that. Please do me a favor and don't get torpedoed. What are you doing, Urialis? Detaches because of heavy flooding from a four inch gun hit? Well, fair enough. If it causes damage. Oh, good. Our destroyers are finally engaging. And that means we can pursue. That, uh, that means we are free to pursue that uh, ship. So we will engage and sink this Guadon class, and then we will go after the bombardment target. If we can maintain contact in the night. Whew. Oops. All right, let's reduce game speed to slow so I can actually keep up with this. All right, there we go. We are getting hits. We are getting plenty of hits, so we should be doing all the damage. And we will drive them into the dirt. Let's reduce speed, because he is not going all that fast. Oh yeah, getting all the hits. Four 10 inch hits, some six inch hits. We're getting some nine inch hits there. Oh, yeah. We'll finish this guy off hard. All right, he's on fire. Oh, there goes a torpedo. Go get him, boys. All right, that's a hit. And now we have an enemy destroyer doing his attack on us. So I don't like that. We'll accelerate and turn back around. It's five in the morning. Sun should be coming up eventually. Confound these northern conditions. But I do think that that Guedon is finished. Oh, well, yeah, she's finished. So we're going to issue a hold fire order. And I'm going to retract that flotilla attack order. And then hopefully... Oh yeah, that Guidon has got to be going down. Let's see, we're going to set a division target to that land target and see if we can't start doing some damage. Open fire and reduce speed. 10 knots. So we can actually shoot this thing while we're here. There we go, starting to hit those bombardment targets.
What is that? I don't know, but it's not acting like a destroyer. It's probably a trans... No, they're calling it a destroyer. Alright, it's definitely a destroyer. I do not like that. Pick up the game speed, we'll patrol around here a little bit. We can withdraw the flotilla attack. Hold fire for now. Yeah, Guadon just went down. Now we just need to wait for the sunrise. And then we can properly flatten that uh, land target. Oh, I am not interested in engaging enemy ships right now. We've done our shipping objective. Now I just need to get the land target, so save that ammo. Alright, here we go. Sun's coming up. Come on, target the land target. There we go. All right. Unknown ship. I'm not gonna worry about that. We can send the destroyers after it. All right. We wish to detach the destroyer Stour to pick up survivors. And that is the courteous thing to do. Rescue them before they drown. I'm not sure I would want to send the Stour, given the problems she's been having with machinery, but if she thinks she can do it, then so it shall be. Alright, let's pick our course to the north and accelerate to cruising speed. We'll go up to fastest available, and... Oh, yep, there he is. Chase him back into port. Yep, a little bit of light rain. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just chase him back to port. And then we'll head back to home. Heading for Portsmouth. We sight. Ooh. I think we can get that guy. We'll take a risk on it. Maybe we can sink something else. Aha. Uh -huh. But it's not worth the risk of torpedoes, so we'll let them go. What did we sight? What did we sight? All right, fine, we'll go take a look. Oh, a transport. Hooray, we got it. Not a bad haul. Two transports, a... No. Two transports, a destroyer, a cruiser, and a land target. Not bad at all. All right, so 
we'll claim that major victory, we'll claim that prestige. Uh, Battle of Bologna. All right. I accept. Uh, the army wants resources to prepare for an offensive that will shift strategic initiative. Nope, as we've already seen, only the navy can win this war. We should not waste resources on indecisive warfare with the French. Alright, they still have raiders out and about. Operations over ally adds 250 victory points. Alright. And with that, I think we'll call this episode to a close. Until next time, Katori87, signing out.